Okay, final question right here for today. What is the most important thing that you learned last year? Now, this was, this, I'm, gonna, I'm taking this as kind of a personal question toward me, so I'm going to answer it very personally. And you guys know that I, I tell you, um, I teach you to be open and honest, and so I'm going to be really honest and transparent about you. I had about three really big things I felt like the Lord did with me last year, and I'm going to share you one of them. Um, and here, here it is. Um, toward the end of summer, kind of in the summertime, we had about three or four couples in our church that just for whatever reason decided not to make this their church home anymore. And for some, I, I, I knew what some of their situations were and some of them I didn't know. And, and it's very typical for people to come into a church for a while and to leave and, and, and that happens with, with everybody. Uh, but one of the things about our church is this, is we really push relationship hard. And so one of, the, one of the downsides to that is whenever you get really close to people, whenever it becomes apparent that it's not going to happen anymore, it makes it really hard. Because you have, you have closeness, you have friends. And uh, whenever that happened, man, it was really, really hard for me. And some of them I, I couldn't get in touch with. I couldn't find out what was going on. I didn't know if they were going to a, another church. I didn't know how they were doing spiritually. And it was really really difficult for me. And just in the last month, God put some of those folks on my heart. And I just started to pray for them. And man, I just started to cry. Because I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if they're going after God now. I don't know if they're in a church. And I mean, I really prayed. And God gave me the scripture that you probably read where it talks about, uh, it's talking about prayer and seeking God. It says, ask, seek, and knock. And it talks about how a good father wants to give good gifts to, to their son uh, if he asks them. So ask for stuff. Come to me. And so I just got real before God. And I go, God, man, I love these people. God, please touch them. Please bless them. If I could just have one more chance to hug them. And because, you know, you, you think things in your mind like, man, did I do something wrong? Did I, you know, did I, did I scare them off? Did I, <laughs> you know, I mean, you, this litany of things that may not even be true that you just you deal with. And. And uh, I was praying for these folks, and I am not kidding you, within three or four days, I ran into almost every single one of those people. Just somewhere else, like Walmart, movie theater. I remember I was at the movie theater, and Christian and I were getting popcorn, and I turned around, and there was somebody I prayed for that morning. And I go, hey, almost kind of scared, like, no, 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 no. You know, it was almost a little weird. And I got to hug him, I said, man, they were, they were doing good. And man, that just, that did it for me. It was almost like I could, you know, I could say, I could say bye. Um, but here's, here's what I learned from that, is this right here. Get real with God. Ask Him, knowing that He hears, and He will answer prayer. He will answer prayer. And so I, it, you know what that did to me? It got my faith just a little bit higher. And I thought, okay, God, what, what do you want me to pray for? What do you want me to pray for? And it rose my faith in such a way that I'm thinking, oh my gosh, God, you are God. You can do anything you want to. You are exceedingly good at anything. You're just looking for some people that are really willing to get a little bit crazy and say, God, we're going to go after you. We're going to do it. And that was a pretty powerful thing that I learned. And I tell you what, he didn't stop with those two or three. It happened two days ago. I was thinking about a lady that I hadn't seen for a long time. And I go, God bless her. I get up and I open up my laptop, pull up my email, and there's an email from her. Hey, let's get together next week. I'm like, oh, God, what else do we need to pray for? You know? <laughs> it's really, really cool. And so here's what's exciting is just think. If we could kind of get that together as a body... And, and say things like, well, God, man, you know, do you want us to be in a building maybe more sooner than later? Well, can we do that? Well, you're God. You can make anything happen. Okay. And it's just a matter of finding his will and praying for it and going for it. So that was one of the most important things that I think I learned last year. And, and, and right along with that is the issue of, of whenever we do seek and ask and knock, it comes from a relationship with him. It's not like we're going up to sit on Santa Claus's lap. And just ask for something that's going to please us. It's like 
you hang out with him and you get soaked in his will. So you're just saying, God, what do you want me to pray for? What do you want me to ask for? What is it according to your will? Okay, and so that was a pretty deep thing. Okay, well that's it. End of Q&A. And hopefully that's been, been helpful to you in a good way. Let's give the Lord a hand. Good. Why don't you guys stand to your feet, please? And uh, I want us to just uh, to pray together.